Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, we got mysterious rackets to test out today. And I'm going to show you what our testing process is like um, over here. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So we actually test out a lot of rackets. Um, sometimes we know who it's from. Sometimes we don't know. And in this case, we don't know who these are from. Uh, we get shipped rackets all the time. Uh, sometimes prototypes from companies, you know, that are mainstream and they're like testies to see if uh, you think they're, you know, worthy of marketing. They're worthy of selling. But a lot of times we get kind of these mystery packages and they're like, we're a new startup company or we're a company that's thinking about making rackets. Uh, wanted to send you a couple prototypes to see what you think. And in this case, these are those. Because uh, they're, as you can see, they are blacked out. There are no markings on this. We literally don't know where they came from because the address came from a P.O. box. I guess I can look at the P.O. box, but, and it's kind of a, a mystery sometimes um, because, you know, a lot of the companies don't want to know they're in the process of maybe making a racket. So what we have here is a glossy racket and a dull racket. And I don't even have specs, so I don't even know what these things weigh at or, um, I mean, I can guess that the beam is about a 22 because that's what it looks like to me over here. I'm going to take the plastic off. Sometimes I don't get plastic on the handle. So, uh, a lot of the times I don't get them strung. So it just depends. Oh, look, there's no butt cap. Look at this. There's a blank butt cap. And there's a no name on the handle either. So these guys are smart. They didn't brand the, the, the grip. They didn't brand the butt cap. I mean, this is literally a, uh, prototype that feels like a quarter. Just by looking at the shape though, we got like kind of a isometrical shape. So my first guess would be it's from Yonex, but. We know Yonex wouldn't be sending me anything like this because they're pretty refined company already and they don't need my testing. But right, right though? I mean, first calculated guess is it could be a Yonex. All right, so what I like to do before I go out and hit with them, I kind of like to learn about, about them real fast. I'm gonna call one gloss and the other one matte, as in the finishes. Weight, balance, swing weight. I don't know the, the RAs, but my guess is it's going to be in the 60s. Because, because, because they're thin, as you can see. They look blade-like. All right, let's quick take some quick calculations. So let's throw the gloss one on first. 334. Let's see what that is in. 118 strong. 113 on the mat. 321. I think we're going to try to compete with a blade here is my guess. All right. So check the balance on the gloss. And it's going to come in at 324. 324. Or 32.4 centimeters. When I say 334, I mean millimeters. In the mat. 
the mat's going to be head heavier. Three three zero. All right, so at the swing weight, RDC machine, 328. Matt finished now, 327. All right, so let's quickly take a look at the numbers here. I'm liking this weight. I'm actually liking both weights. This, as you guys know, I like heavy. It's a gloss finish and heavy. Two positive things for me. Nice swing weight. Nice higher, slightly higher number on the swing weight. Balance is a little headlight for me. But, I mean, obviously we can mess with it a little bit. The matte finish is definitely going to be geared for most people out there. So, without the strings, you're probably looking at about a 10.8. So, um definitely into the blade like numbers on the bottom this would be like um like a yonex kind of an e-zone tour kind of numbers would be these and this would be like a regular e-zone to a blade so that's what i'm comparing these two that's what i'm thinking these might be um, although this one could definitely be like a v-core pro 97 um the way these numbers kind of look in that 310 overall weight. So, well, so now that we have the numbers, what's next, guys? All right, guys, so we're on the court. We got the secret rackets that we don't know who they're from. Um, we're going to test them out. So as I was telling you guys, we test them out. And we just tell whoever sent them to us, yay or nay good or bad and why and then you know whatever they do they do we just do our testing part okay got my man goo here we're going to test them out Alright, so we just got off the court with the two mystery rackets. Um, one is shiny, one, one is matte. matte. Now, Coach Gu, I'll let you start. Which one did you like better and why? Um, overall, these were two fun rackets to play with. Um, I think both of them look like Yonexes, in my opinion, because of the sh shape of the head. It's, it's unique shape of the head. But overall, I mean, I think I like the matte color a little more. Um, this this one this one definitely had a little bit of a feel of a of a Yonex um, B Core Pro ninety seven <clears throat> and a little bit of the blade a little bit of the blade Pro or blade. Um, yeah, this one plowed through really nice. Had good feel, good weight transfer. I could feel the weight going all the way to the head. Uh, this one felt a little more flexible, which I don't mind. Um, but the weight transfer kind of stopped near kind of like three-fourths of the way up to the head <clears throat> so you couldn't feel that plow through all the way through if i was playing with this racket i'll probably put like weight on 12 o'clock but overall i mean fun sticks to play with honestly and you know this is part of trying out rackets so would you say produce this one and maybe produce this one produce this one especially if you're a player that's a, is a, like i think you should produce this one this one definitely feels like compete with a lot in the market especially like against blades yonixes all of this stuff 
and <clears throat> this one can contend, especially it will target more of the college or advanced level players, and probably even the pro level sometimes. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree with Coach Gu. I like the matte finish one more. Um, I was thinking that I would love the shiny, shiny because I'm a shiny kind of guy. But for some reason, this plowed through way better. It could be the paint job. It could be something. That's you know, true. It could maybe it's just the extra weight maybe. on the racket. Um, but it's good. No. But yeah, no, the, the matte finish one um, is definitely <clears throat> the one to get. Uh, definitely yeah. the one to play with. Like I'm telling you, we don't know what these are. We literally yeah, don't we know what no these idea. are. He so didn't we're even just, tell me. So, yeah. so I'm clueless. I'm like butt clueless. So we're not. <laughs> so we're basically just kind of you know flying blind. But that's what the companies want us to do. They want us mm -hmm. to just test rackets and basically give them our opinions. Mm -hmm. But definitely the matte finish one is two thumbs up. The uh, the gloss one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I would say it's like a thumbs up. Thumbs medium. Yeah, thumbs, thumbs medium. medium yeah, this, this is kind of like a Blade Pro 1619, as Coach Gu was, was saying. So it, it feels like a pro stock racket. This one kind of feels like a regular blade, is what I'm thinking. It, it, it feels like so. We like the extra weight here. We like the extra plow. Mm -hmm. uh, we like the extra finish. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So, so this is the one. Um, so instead of us filling out a survey, we're basically going to tell whoever's out there that sent them to us and watching this video, produce the matte finish one, and maybe do this one too. Maybe. But you got two pretty good rackets here. Yeah. So yes for these. Okay? Definitely. I want to thank my man Goo here for hanging out with me today and testing out the mystery rackets. <clears throat> Goo, where can we find you? You can find me at AG is at tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. <laughs>